Hello, I'm. Hey. <laughs> you, you don't. Oh, I wasn't me. supposed to respond. I thought you were just saying hello to me. Continue on. Sorry. <laughs> Retake. Hello, and welcome to Inside Art and Design, which is a interview series with the teachers here at the Community College of Baltimore County. Uh, we're sitting down today with David Sobel, who's one of our teachers, and I'd like to ask to begin with, like, what was your path to get into art or design? Um, so the path to get into art and design was, was not, it, it wasn't as like, oh, I always knew I wanted to do art from the beginning and stuff like that. So um, I knew I wanted, I, I was creative. I liked to draw. Um, in high school, though, I was told by a teacher that I should not be doing this anymore, that I should not do art. Um, I'm not equipped to do it. Uh, don't do it. So I followed it and I actually went for a degree in communication that wasn't at all related to design or arts or anything. Uh, and I found this program or I found this class at Towson that was graphic design for non-art majors. And I took it and I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. This is great. So I took that. It, it was, I was almost done with school. So I couldn't really do that as a major then. So what I ended up doing was I taught myself design. I taught myself all the programs needed to get into um, a fine arts school as a master's. And I got my master's from Pratt. I applied there. I applied to a bunch of schools. Pratt was the only one that accepted me. Um, so I said, well, I guess I'm going there, right? Because that was the only one that accepted me. Um, and I went there and, and I don't know why they accepted me. Like the portfolio, like I look at it now, I'm like, I can't believe this. This like, this is just stuff like I was just thinking of. It wasn't anything that was like good. I mean, I was, I literally taught myself how to do everything just with looking online or reading books or just playing. Um, and that's how I got into design. And it wasn't until years later um, that I was drawing with my son and I got into monsters and I was like, oh, I should do this. And then all of a sudden the world of art was like all of a sudden opened up again. And then I started exploring with all sorts of different mediums because now I was like literally a kid playing and things were suppressed for so long mm -hmm. since high school. And it was like 15 years later, I'm like, oh, well, this is fun. And so that's kind of how I got in, got into it. Yeah. Um, so you're a teacher here and you have been for 10 years now, right? Longer than that. I'm um, since 06. Wow. So you're so old. And, <laughs> uh, what do you like most about teaching? Man, so I didn't know I wanted to teach um, at all. Uh, I decided to go to, actually, I didn't decide. My wife decided that I should try this, this adjunct. I can't take credit for it. Um, this adjunct teaching fair was held at CCBC. And I was like, I don't know. What is this thing? Teaching? Who cares? Um, and I went there and... Um, I interviewed and they said, yeah, would you like to start? And I was like, okay, I'll try a class, right? As an adjunct teacher. And as soon as I got in front of, like, I was super nervous. As soon as I got in front of the students and I started teaching, I was like, oh, this is what I need to be doing. Uh -huh. Like this encompasses everything that I love about everything. The idea to inspire, the idea to have some fun, uh, all the things that I didn't get as a teacher, like I was able to pour into that and be able to inspire and be able to, cultivate and, and brainstorm with students and stuff like that. And since that very first adjunct class, it was like the goal was to become a teacher. And once I got that goal, I've never looked back. Like I still do art and I still do design and stuff like that, but teaching is always going to be there. Teaching, speaking in front of people, doing that is, is just something that I love and I will never, it'll never go away. Good. And so Finally, to wrap up, if you had to explain your art to someone who's never seen it and you don't have it in front of you, how would you explain? Um, I, you know, it depends on the, so I go to a lot of different avenues. I do graphic design. Um, I do kind of monsters and illustrations and I do abstract painting art, digital art kind of in that, in that realm. Um, I think a big thing for me is color in my illustrations for monsters, especially like I am bold with the use of color because it's just fun. It's interesting. 
Um, there's a lot of playfulness in what I do. I think it's some of the abstract stuff too. Like I use spray paint. I use like weird materials. I like the idea of flicking paint. I like the, the movement of that. And I guess it goes back to being playful as well. Like for me, maybe it's not the outcome is playful, but I'm playing while I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think my graphic design stuff also has a bit of play. I guess playfulness is probably the main core that runs through all of it in, in very different ways. Even like with my logos and graphic design and stuff, you would know what it looks like. It's, it's clean, but it's, but it's interesting. It, it's not generic as far as my approach to things. So there's again, a playfulness. I'm not afraid to fail. I think that's a huge thing that I learned is I have failed so many times, but every time I learn something from it. And I think that's just this great thing is to, to accept failure and be like, huh, well, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? And I think that you see it through my work. There's tons of paintings that maybe I look and be like, well, that didn't work. Let's paint over that again. And then all of a sudden, those are the results that I like because I wasn't afraid. I was literally playing and had no desired outcome. It was the use of what can I do? What instrument can I use? What weird thing can I do? What weird monster can I create? What weird thing can I do in my design? So those are the things that I constantly play with, with I think all the works. Thank you so much for joining us, Noel, and uh, thank you for watching this interview. I hope you can watch the other ones and uh, like and subscribe to the gallery's YouTube page and our social media. Thanks again.